A French counter-strike for so long. On the other side, it's Nitro, Captain America, as they call him. And it's not just what he can bring to the server, it's what he represents. So let's get into this one, shall we? Yeah, no waiting around for this pistol. Liquid steadfast towards that B site. The Vitality are stacked to the nines, all down in blue. They're ready to quick flank this play. Liquid will have a full execute, but it will matter not. They get the site, they get the plant, and they get some space, but they got to worry about the back. Yeah, they're getting fast flanked here. Magisk opens up with one, and suddenly things go very badly for Team Liquid. Magisk just tearing through them. Looking to kickstart this series for Vitality, and there's not a lot standing in their way. It is a flawless pistol round to open up Overpass. Yeah, you talk about the uh, the captains of this teams. I think a lot of people are thinking about the right-hand men as well. Zai Wu, if Apex is a stick, Zai Wu is the spear on the end of it. And on the other side, you've got your kinder as well. So valuable that when he left outsiders, we thought this guy could go anywhere. He could go to Navi, he could go to FaZe, but he liked the culture of Liquid. He wanted to join this squad, and they're all the better for it. It's going to be Vitality taking that pistol round, though, very clean on a flank. And now Liquid with a bomb plant, we expect to see the force. And they're going to deliver on that. They've come back in with the purchase right away. It's clear the Vitality feeling confident coming into this one. I mean, you've got a lot of stage experience here for Liquid. They want to try and go against the grain early on with this force buy. I like how much attention the desk put on OC as well, right? Not experienced on the stage in comparison to really anyone else on the server right now. And he's definitely got to step up in this playoff match because on the other side, you have the best Orpa in current form right now in Zaiwu. OC's got his scout. The Vitality are giving nothing away. They are tucked back in their bomb sites. Only Zaiwu on the edge of aggression. And Spinks is spotting for him. Some of the change-ups on CT sides for Vitality have been uh, a breath of fresh air inside of this roster. Something we'll talk about more later into the series. For now, it's Liquid grouping back down lower. And Vitality not too strong in this position currently. Yeah, they kind of played their opening hand, looking for the attention over in mid, looking to fight for this control. But Vitality haven't given them those engagements. OC with this scout, has missed the timing on a con man, just pulling off the scam of a lifetime, isn't he? Zai Wu towing that line between danger and being that important piece to win the round. He's going to oh, be here to rotate in, and that's the bomb. Nitro has given it away. Zai Wu tagged up, but not finished off. Still alive, still a threat down in water, but Naf will run him down. This four spy has left Team Liquid in the four on three. Sphinx has got support here. He's not alone oh. in this venture. Dead after one, sure, but Magic is oh. able to steal it all away. There isn't time left. He stops that plant and he's locked Team Liquid out of the round. That's super awkward for Liquid, man. They wanted to fake that B site. They were popping out Monster. The bomb was trying to go back up Con, but like you highlighted, OC missed that timing, and Zaiwu slipped the net. He cut off that point of rotation, and a lot of pressure is going to be on someone like Nitro to call in those moments, to adapt on the fly, and at least on the bright side for Nitro, he's got a lot more room to do what he wants. When we saw him back in those old Liquid days, he, he had to pick up so many roles, didn't he? He had to play the AWP. Well, now that's averted with OC and the team. He had to, you know, in-game lead, and frag. Well, now your Kinder's coming in as a very vocal player as well. So somewhat of the pressure lifted off Nitro. Right now he's fed to the Wolves. Down in dark, Leech gets that trade, but it's the only gun in the round and not even an armored player to throw it to. He's got to lead by example here. Vitality aren't facing out mid. taiwu has gone back to safety. And Sphinx has at least got info on where Liquid started in this round. That will leave the captain of Vitality hovering between bomb sites, playing reactive to the information. And Liquid, again, are in no hurry. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race in their eyes. And I mean, the longer they take, the more util they're going to drain out of Vitality, right? So even in that essence, this is worth it in the long run. They would love to make this an expensive round at bare minimum. He talked about some of the changes we've seen from Vitality. It feels like Apex, he's kind of been reeled in a little bit, right? Hasn't been involved in as many of these swing fights in the mid-round. Hasn't been the guy at the forefront of every opening fight. 
And even on certain maps, playing you know more more difficult roles and letting his stars shine. Something Vitality have talked about in having Spinks really be the star of this team. He has to be. It's what we saw at Pro League Finals in this exact matchup. Right now, Liquid, they're closing the gap. One smoke, one flash, 20 seconds, here they come. Yeah, they want to try and milk this round for all it's worth, with two players tagged up already. They kind of like the Vitality here, giving them a little bit of room here, but it's only to be taken away later on. This wrap coming in, up through the Ooh. connector. There is a kill found for Elige, but it's whether or not they're ready for Dupree, and they're not. This one comes down at the buzzer again, only for a Dane to steal it away. A third found for Vitality. Yeah, it was always meant to be a team ace as well in that round. Already we're seeing uh, a lot of issues towards Connector with these flanks coming out from Zaiwu going down in the previous round to Dupree coming up this time. Vitality are very proactive in these last 30 seconds of the round and Liquid are getting caught off guard. Something they need to you know, put, a, put to bed early in this map. It can be so hard to get going on the T side of Overpass. This is their first full buy though and it's not met with the resistance of an orb yet. Yeah, there's a real skirmish taking place for this con control and a real focal point put on mid as well. You touched upon Vitality using that connector to come in on the backstab to cut down these plays before they even come in. And so Liquid want to try and regain a bit of control here. Over at long, guess who you're running into? It's Zai Wu tucked in, does have support and he is going to need it dead after the first. It's a clean trade from your Kindar. That's exactly what you need out of this guy. Spinks is now left in a bit of an awkward position, right? He's in hot water, oh. but just barely able to navigate through this hot liquid. Great Spinks flash gets from, out. Yeah, great fra a flash from below. Nitro actually had him on lock. Spinks was on the clock, but he got out for free. Blinded the opposing captain as liquid get closer to the site. And Spinks is still playing an information position, but not forever. He wants to go back and he wants to get aggressive. Ooh, doesn't actually peek off that first flash. Instead, Apex giving him a second one. And yeah, this time it hits wow. perfectly, Yakinda. He does a lot of damage, but doesn't get away with the frag. They would have loved that to propel them into the A play. That responsibility has got to fall to someone else now. And Apex will not let them in. Lights them up. Two in the round with the MP9. And even on the jump, Apex just harassing OC, getting in his head. And out of all the ways to have won that first rifle round, that one hurts the most. It's bonus round for Vitality. Yeah. The MP9 does the bulk of the damage. I think Apex also called like, oh no, I missed that flash. I accidentally jumped through it. It went super high, rocket flash. But then he had a second and it was perfect for Spinks to swing. How impressive for Apex as well. Just the jump and spam while Spinks can swing out from long to, uh, to end the round. Vitality's A setups right now looking luscious. We've not even had to see the big green at the moment and it won't come out for a while because Team Liquid are back down to pistols. Uppity pace. Nitro gets flashed forward. Magis gets trapped though and he's in front of a Molotov. Nitro didn't see him and Magis will get that kill and brave the storm to go back to B. He takes a lot of damage. Yeah, they might have no other choice but to just go now, right? They've got all this util in place to try their hand at the B play, but losing Nitro like that, not what they wanted. It's very much taken the pace out of what was supposed to be a kind of up-tempo B play here. Magisk even getting finicky with nades. I like how passive he's playing as well. Never change. In they come, Yakinda up at the front. Dupree and Magisk tear through Team Liquid. Wow. History repeats itself, B's off limits. You know, it was so hard to have an idea of what vitality we were going to see today, right? You know, Zaiwu's first spot ek appearance here on the stage, but also that last game of the upper bracket up against Heroic, it was not enough. It was not good enough for Vitality after a solid run through groups, albeit not up against the best opponents of NIP to start with a stand-in and a wounded Fnatic. When Vitality got trounced, I think a lot of the doubt set, uh, seeped in again for this roster. A roster that hasn't achieved the high highs that they set out and expected to achieve. But right now, they are not looking flustered. 5-0. and oh, Liquid come back in with the guns and they even bring an orb to it. Yeah, this is a conundrum for Team Liquid to solve. For the longest time, this three-man core of Naf, Elysian, and Nitro, they were... They were get, uh, gate kept by that Astralis squad of old, yeah. right? 
by three of the guys that we have on the other side right now. Dupree, Magisk, and Zonic. They were the bane of Liquid's entire existence, eliminating Liquid 11 times over two years in playoffs. Eight of those times in Grand Finals. It was brutal, Harry. It wasn't even close. It took Astralis cooling off and, and playing less events for Liquid to even make a run and start you know, mopping up a Grand Slam. So, yeah, for a long time, this Danish trio has been the bane of Liquid's existence. But it's a different day now. It's a different year. We need different results. Contact play. This is beautiful for Liquid, but it is going to get spotted. Yes, I was about to have a very clear picture of what's happening here. Oh. Just holds the spray and waits for them to come to him. Convincing opener found, and there's still more to contest with in the toilets. Oh. Naf can't wrestle with the AK. Oh, no. OC wants to try his hand at the trade. He will lock in that one, but they don't know about this third man. There was a third player the whole time. OC looks aware, oh. goes back to check for it, but Dupree's got the drop on him, and it's still flawless for Vitality. CT sides haven't been their downfall. It's when we get into the T half, it's that second half of play. That's where Vitality normally would look to slow down here. But if they can do the legwork in this first half, then they're set up. Yeah, uh, you just love watching Zywu, no matter what weapon he has in his hands, right? Known for his orb, but this guy can rifle to the highest of levels. It's not even fair. It takes two to trade him. Well, the third man even. Solid triple A setup for Vitality. Back to pistols for Liquid. And even quick pace hasn't netted them openers. Zaiwu is now donning that AWP as well. And he's got Apex behind him. Playing aggressive, suppressive. And Team Liquid getting pushed into a box. But Apex repeats with a nade. And that will cost him. Zaiwu, they're coming from two sides. Where does he flick? He sees that escape and he'll take it. Alij is armed. But he needs to be deadly as well. He is the guy for the job. Elige is, is the face of this liquid squad, right? He's been here for almost eight years now. When he joined Liquid, Apex was still in Titan. So that experience has got to shine through. He's got the hero gun, oh but this my. rap from Spinks, this is a display of confidence here. They put more onus on him being the star. He's called the rap, he's got the info. Sure, they overwhelmed Dupree, but that's when Spinks gets involved. Whittles down this uh, 3v3 that Liquid had. Elige is quick with the response. They know about the wraparound, but they don't know where Zaiwu is. A needle in a haystack trying to find this guy. And Spinks getting involved now. Nitro wasn't looking. It's going to fall to Elige. The immovable man in the clutch, but the flash will get him off that angle. And Zaiwu mops it up. This is, this is a display right now for Vitality. This is dominant. Liquid, that's their closest round yet. The only, only one that they're able to convert in a post plant. And Vitality don't even look flustered in the 2v2. Great patience for Sphinx. Not just to not jump the gun on taking those back, backstab kills, allowing Magis to rotate into a B stack, but even then waiting for Zywu's smoke to fade, throwing in a flash to the pit. Vitality are playing solid CS right now, and Liquid do not look awake. More orbs, but still more problems. Seven and zero. What have Liquid got for us? Yeah, it's getting a little scary. Naf down at one and seven. This guy is normally the bedrock of Team Liquid. Right? If Elise is the face, Naf, he's the backbone of this team. Normally such a consistent player. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice opener. Two captains clash and Nitro comes out ahead. No accounting for that one, Apex. He spammed out of the round. Team Liquid, they've not been in this position. They have a chance now in the 5v4. They pump the brakes. They don't want to get ahead of themselves here. Opportunities like this don't come along often. I like the boost up. It's proactive. Trying to force this trade. It won't be given to them, though. Bombs outside of that site. But Liquid are not poised for it. They need to come down through Connector, and that's what Dupree's banking on. He's banking correct. Easy kill. Gets that refrag to the captain, who now has to lead from beyond the grave as Liquid set up again for a contact play. Is there even a flash behind this? They don't need it. Naf knocks Zywu out of the round. Molly onto the barrel is going to keep Dupree passive for now, but Liquid are coming through. 
Yeah, trying to close the net. That's a missed flash from Magis. Not the time for it. Dupree oh. peeks on the second, but OC there to mop him up, there to shut that down. Fall blind as he drops him out of the round. It's Molly. now the Molotov. That slows this play. It gives Magisk a bit of time to move in, oh. try to have his say up and over into the bomb oh. site now. It's a lot of damage on a Yakindar. It's teed up. Spinks to come in with a big double. Elysian Nap is suddenly thrown into this 2v2. It's not what they expected. It's not what they were banking on. Naden the monster slows down Elysian. Yeah. Magic's going to win him out in the fight. Nap far removed. Open his hands and the defuse being held. He's not peeking. He's not fighting for this. And so in a 2v4, Vitality dig deep. It's Sphinx and Magisk to pull that one back. They had no business winning that round. Absolutely not, but Spinks, man, he's stepping up and it's given me a good feeling for you know the, the length of vitality here in the playoffs, of course. We're all thinking about that semi-final matchup, whoever wins here, going on to face G2. Favorites, no doubt. It's never been clearer from their current form, but if vitality are bringing the heat like this, anything can happen, Harry. We know it's their year. It needs to be for Vitality. 2022 was so underwhelming. Apex said it himself. They wanted so much more. And with a Paris Major coming up, they need to warm up into these stage games. They need to perform in the spot egg. And right now, Vitality are doing everything they should. Eight and zero. Another 2v2 on the B site. Liquid cannot close out. And Zaiwu's not even the hard carry right now. He's playing solid. But it's Sphinx. It's Majisk, and it's even Dupree, who's had career lows in this team, looking good to begin. Yeah, he couldn't miss out on a chance to steal the hopes and dreams of NA again, could he? <laughs> Some things never change, Harry. All right, Nitro survives this skirmish down in Con. Vitality leaning strong over towards B with how often rounds have culminated here. It Makes a lot of sense. They're just entrusting this upper hold to Sphinx solo. Oh. Apex is ballsy to even be returning fire on that spam, but he likes his odds. And even in the round where he got picked and went 4v5 down, Vitality still pulled themselves out of the mud. They brought their wellies to the playoffs here. And with ease, a strong lead. Liquid move in on that A site though. Nav's trying to make a lot of noise, a lot of ruckus down below. Does get some spam onto Majisk and there's boosts up. This is great timing. It's an easy kill and they even saw him edging back up. Look at the minimap. Look at that rotation because Vitality know Liquid are doing it before it's even called. Yeah, this is rough now. That realization's going to dawn on Liquid as well, but they've just got to commit to it at this point in time. Into the belly of the beast. Apex and Zaiwu hold down the site. And they've not even run into Sphinx. They don't even know about him on this close yeah. angle. Nitro dead. This one's getting away from Liquid. A flawless round, a flawless scoreline. You couldn't ask for more out of Vitality right here. No, uh, and you've got to love the way they're doing it as well. It's not even had to be like super difficult A setups or super aggressive mid takes that they're shutting Liquid out early. They're letting them work. They're letting them play around. And then they're coming in with the final 30 seconds and making an info. <laughs> Be it these boosts, the flank through Con for Sphinx, the connector walks for Dupree. Vitality have done it all. <laughs> Is there time for a resurgence? It's funny because, you know, we talk about Apex being this grizzled veteran of the scene, right? But the only other time he's been in the spot egg. Wasn't even on the fall stage all the way back in 2014. We're talking nine years ago wow. now. And there, they were battling to not get 16 0 by the, the Virtus Plow, right? <laughs> the old Polish le legends. Yeah. I and mean, now yeah. he's dishing it out, man. How far he's come. Maniac remembers that game. Not for the best of reasons. But leave a sour taste in anyone's mouth and liquid. As Copper all right, Iron on the tongue for a liege as Sphinx again forces an opening kill. And now the Vitality are starting to make plays early in rounds. Liquid are getting drowned out. 
4v5, no way back in off that kill, and Zaiwu might make it a little bit better. There are flashes available, but even Zaiwu doesn't want to force this. Vitality aren't even playing like it's 9-0. They're playing like it's neck and neck. But again, proactive towards B. They get that information, and OC hits a oh. shot, but it's not enough. Nitro, another wall bank trade. That's all he's even given us, but they never saw Magis. Got stuck down in the mud, in the water. He will slide out, and now forced to fight again. It's another round for Vitality. You called Naf the backbone. He may be, but right now it's a spinal surgery for Vitality. They are snapping necks. Ver uh, broken vertebrae for Team Liquid. Will it ever start to flow? Or is this an all-time low? Man, you know, this is where for the kind of more experienced trio within this squad, you're expecting them to find a little bit more here. They're, they're all looking very dejected. It's very safe. The Akinda coming into this, you know, we, we think about how this guy likes to play. Think about how involved he likes to be early. He's had none of the usual successes here. The one opening kill that Liquid have been able to find was from Nitro spamming out Apex. <laughs> right now, all the win conditions are being met for Vitality, and there is nothing inspiring hope in this Liquid squad. Oh. They've come in with the investment. Not something around your Kindar's Galil, so maybe more of a focal point on him getting involved early. He was meant to be the guy that could save North American Counter Strike. Well, now there's the time oh. for him to show it. But walked oh. upon, no respect. Majisk at 14 and 1 is hungry for even more. That's the bomb getting away from Liquid now. They come in with a couple of kills, but it's all for naught with no bomb. Nav's got to go back and get it. His journey in the 1v3, it's a marathon, not a yeah. sprint, but he's off to a good start. Oh, you're really going to make this play, Naf? There is no room for error, not a misstep. Not a wasted second. Round the world and back again, and Zaiwu has already read into it. I don't even know if there's time, especially not if Zaiwu plays close to the site. He can just deny the plant. Of course he will. Pistol out. This guy does it with whatever gun you give him, and Naf now needs to get lucky. It's the only thing he's got. Plant in the smoke denied, and Zaiwu keeps it clean for Vitality. Now they're playing like it's 11-0, Harry. Walking through Monster without any information, without any flash, and shooting Liquid in the back. This is a statement for Vitality. Yeah, with G2 as the coming storm off in the distance, an incredible form coming into these playoffs. I think you really needed one of these teams to rise above the other and excel and show that they've got what it takes on the big stage. Yeah. And Vitality are doing that. There was no question in the experience here. The tenure. They feel like the rolling thunder right now, Harry. You can hear him in the distance. A flash of lightning. But that storm is still coming. That semi-final's still away. So Vitality haven't finished the job yet. Closing games can be the most difficult part. Not that I'm worried at this score. 11-0, Liquid looking lackluster. Right when we were getting excited for NACS, right when complexity were giving us reasons to believe and we're only mere rounds away from making it to the playoffs as well. Liquid, they're the only NA team we've seen in the playoffs of Katowice since 2018, where Cloud9 joined them. And we thought it was time. We thought the young, plucky Latvian superstar, the hammer of Yakinda, was ready to crack open skulls. The vitality of come wearing helmets aplenty. It's on him again, Yakindar, picked by Zai Wu. An easy shot, Spinks side by side, a deadly duo on this top site. OC has the angle, but not for long. Legged on the crossover, he gets flashed out by Spinks, and now Zai Wu owns middle, and you're not getting it back off him for free. This is awkward though, you've tried your opening hand, you've tried your opening move, and you've come up short. Where's the follow through? Where do you pick up the slack here? And Lee's trying to get involved over towards Long, trying to move in, but smoking his way. Molly to follow. He's not coming in anytime soon. Oh, Zai Wu 
Got the spot off there. They're moving ahead of it, but a miss spray for Nitro. Oh. Sai Wu tries to move back in. Oh. Minx feels like he can't set a foot wrong, just holds the angle and they come to him. Tears through the liquid ranks. And OC finished off to close. Are we really looking at a 15-0? How poetic that would be for Apex, returning to the spot egg years down the line. He knows this feeling, he knows how horrible this is, and he knows that right now, Vitality are living rent-free in the minds of Team Liquid. Yeah, we've really not seen any depth. Liquid are looking dazed and confused in this T side. Their executes have been predictable. Their contact plays have always been traded efficiently by Sphinx and Zaiwu on A. It's a terrifying setup to get through for sure. Again, back to Tech Nines taking water quick. They've had it. They've been allowed it. But this time, Sphinx is feeling a little more ready to get involved. Smoke on the door. Whether there's even a door there, that's still a question because Vitality can nade it off out of spawn. It's about to fade. So at least my, uh, Liquid will have that sound cue if it does come through, but Sphinx is in no hurry. He has an easy 1v1, and Nitro has the util to get them out into B. If he dies, no nades will leave his hands. Good Molotov. Sphinx is trapped in a corner, in a cage, in a coffin even, and Nitro will bury him in a sarcophagus. Five on four. There's a chance. Oh, you can uh, another opener found, but Dupree going to farm them up as they try to move in with Apex here to fight alongside him. It's a terrifying twosome to run into. The Flash is streaming in oh. over the top. Let's Naf get close up in their oh. face. Naf fly with a double. And Liquid, they might be about to do it with just the pistols finding their first round. They've just got one man left to get past. Oh, dear. But the man they're up against is a thing of legends already. 1v3 for Zai Wu. Doesn't have his AWP, he wants to do it with the rifle. Half the time ticked off that bomb already. Zai Wu, this is very measured. And now, just looking to keep the damage high perhaps. Wow. Already writing this one off, he doesn't even want to attempt it. Will knock one man out, they're gonna face oh. him. And he at least makes that a very expensive round when all is said and done for Liquid. The celebrations don't last long. It's one round in a sea of blue, sea of yellow for Vitality. You just had to say it, Harry. You had to say the 15-0 right when it was picking up steam and Liquid come in with a round all off of the opening kill. Finally converted as well. That molly for Nitro was perfect. And here, Naf, all the risks in the round. The bomb on his back. He finds two kills inside of that smoke. Great pop flashes from Nitro to even get them in. But Liquid need to build. Or their boat will still capsize. Quicker pace this time. Liquid is storming the gates right into the site. Oh, caught on a boost. The flash is good again. Apex is dead first, and the lead hooks for the spam. Two entry kills and more to do, because Dupree still sits in the pit. Vitality feel it. They feel it on that one round. The nature of the game's changed a bit. And Liquid are coming in confident. Oh. A lot faster, a lot more in your face than what we've seen in any of the rounds so far. And so with that, they're in with a second. Still a ways to go. But it's all the makings of a little comeback right near the end of this half. Nothing feels worse than finally you know, getting your groove on and getting confidence back right at the end when you know even a maximum of three is going to be nothing. But Liquid have to fight forward. Forget the past, don't ponder the future. They're living in that moment. Vitality breathing easy, going into the last round of the half. It's even Zonic calling a timeout, making sure that things don't get flustered, that they don't get rushed again. A stoppage of the momentum. And Zonic, such an integral piece of this, te uh, this Team Vitality story. On the flip side is Daps. He's talked about the difficulties as being, you know, previously a player for so many years across so many North American orgs coming in and trying to cool things in such a limited time window of 30 seconds. Zonic's got that experience. So let's see what adjustments Vitality make going into round number 15, the final hope for Liquid's T side. Oh. That is a brutal bit of spam onto OC. That's going to force him to play more respectful here with that AWP. He struggled to get involved at the best of times, and so now him on the back foot early. That's going to be felt by Liquid every step of the way. They flash oh. out of Monster. Magic oh. with the aggro. 
robbery of around here because he's got the bomb at his feet. He hasn't discovered that yet, but it's right around the corner. Matt just doesn't know it, but with this push, he is the thorn in the oh, side of yeah. Liquid. Tearing them down. Magisk in form for these playoffs. Three in this round and still in the picture, still Ooh. controlling the flow. Looks for even more and he's finally put in the dirt. Where well, there's one Dane, there's two. Dupree's already moved in. That bomb is not retrieved, not for long. Yakindar left in this one all alone. And with so much to do, so much against him, it's washing over Liquid now, this inescapable feeling. The even three, even three is off limits. He's going back, bomb retrieval. 25 seconds and Dupree's gonna win that out with a smoke spam. It is dominance, the French Revolution's here, it's vitality. They knock on the door of Liquid and run away with that first half. Magis can do pre, always show up to put NA in the dirt for Team Liquid. They're on the back foot in a big way. They're getting lapped by, by Vitality at this point in time. A lights out first half, everyone performing. Vitality in crazy good form. For Liquid, it's frustration, it's pain after that first half. And now they stare an impossible climb 
Huge mountain lies ahead of them that they've got to try and scale up. And without Vitality are looking, it doesn't feel possible. Yeah, there's no hero for Liquid right now. There's no saving grace. There's no player who's standing uh, above everyone else. Vitality on the other side. The Danes are looking dominant as ever. And even Yakinda dinked early. So often can we rely on a player like Naf, Mr. Consistent inside of this Liquid squad. But in five years since joining Liquid, Harry, he's only had three negative events at large lands. Two of them are Katowice's. Air quality at an all-time low. And no water to drink either. Vitality, they have completely bypassed the setup and they are about to execute into A. Yeah, Yakindar's the only point of defense here as well. And he was dinked right at the start of the round. He's kind of got to let him have the sight. He's just given it up. The rotate's even being considered. Spinks, he could steal this oh. round away right now. Oh, Elise tapped in the back of the skull. Naf comes out with one. Liquid, they need this pistol or else Overpass will be a non-starter of a map. It was off to a good start, but in the blink of an eye, it's gone back and forth. OC, the only man with Ooh. HP, rises to the occasion. That's two. Left to Apex, and they move into him, but he locks them out. And so Liquid, they find a pistol to open up this CT side. That's something to hold on to. Yeah, they got to squeeze tight, though, because Bomb Plant, Vitality will come straight in with all the goods, all the glory, and look to shut this up before it even starts on CT side. I had so much more faith for both these teams for a competitive series, not just because of those Pro League finals, a BO5, the winner of all five maps, but we had Mirage, we had Overpass, two of the maps in this series in that veto. Both of those went to multiple overtimes. Right now, nothing of the sort. Vitality on the stage, a welcome feeling, a memory of success gone by for the Danes especially, and a new taste for Zai Wu. And again, it can't be under, it can't be oversaid rather how much success players like Dupree, players like Majisk have had here in the spot act. Dupree has attended every single Katowice to date. Even won it twice. The only time this guy even failed to make playoffs, Harry, was last year mm. amidst the sea of misses for Vitality. That was fresh after he joined the roster. But he will not be repeating history, not recent history at least. We're going a long way back here in the Hall of Heroes. Vitality creeping forward, Ooh. and that is a stunning shot for Majisk taking down the face of Liquid. OC needs something here, but he can't get more than one Magis. Again, murders him from behind. Bomb dropped, at least Yakinda surviving the fight, will be able to fall off. Yeah, Liquid breathing a sigh of relief when Magis hits the ground running like that with the Deagle. You're always a little bit paranoid, Apex. Very smart here, just trying to make this expensive, lobbing it all out the map. There's Everybody. no retrieving them. Throwing smokes out, man. He does not want them to have <laughs> anything for free. He might not win the round, but he's won our hearts by lobbing out the guns and doing in the money of Team Liquid in the long run. They get away with that, but this is where the going gets tough. This is where Vitality are looking to put their money where their mouth is. Yeah. They're coming in with the investment. Not an open sight, Zai Wu more than capable with those rifles. Ajisk is playing on another level as well, right? Some of the aggressive rounds we saw from him towards B, getting flashed in by Dupree through Monster, flanking Liquid where they stand. Two Deegs in that eco, and it wasn't eco, Harry. They didn't even force after bomb planting pistol. Vitality wanted to end this in the gun rounds nice and early. They are not in a hurry. But they know this is their best shot of success before Liquid can even attempt to build back into the game. Sphinx creeping and crawling. He's got short water. And Apex keeps the pressure on B while the default works middle. It's a spread out attack for Vitality. Liquid left guessing. Really hoping that Liquid try to get some info, try to get involved down here towards B. 
Ooh, that jiggle. That should signal the idea of, yeah, we don't want to be peeking monster. We don't want to give them this opener. Well, now Apex, he's changed his mind. Oh, he doesn't yeah. want to wait for you anymore. He's going to bring the fight your direction. There's the opener from the man at the helm of Vitality and Hell. Wow. Why not take it one step further? Apex and Sphinx. It's a runaway round here. A liege offering up some resistance, what? but not for long, because Apex is taking heads off. The guillotine comes to life. And it's all left on OC, so far removed. Nothing is safe, nothing is sacred here. They're already hunting him, and the bomb's not even down yet. Dupree, that is a big nail put in the coffin of Team Liquid. They don't even get out with a save. You want to know the most reassuring part of this Vitality squad right now, Harry, is who is the bottom performer? Who has the lowest kills, the lowest ADR, the lowest impact? It's Zai Wu. And it's not because he's underperforming, it's because he's not needed. That orb was solid on the A site. It rarely gave away any kind of kills. He rarely forced fights. He allowed the Star of Sphinx, the Danes down on below, to force kills. And everyone has stood up to the plate here for Vitality. What a reassuring map of counter. And now they want to close the door. Slam that blade to the floor and decapitate Liquid while they do. It's only Nitro at long, calling for support. Naf moving in. Dupree won't check it. Surely Nitro not going to get away with anything. Naf forces two, drops the bomb oh. and even spams through the pole. That can let so many players down, but Naf makes it work. Vitality, a little bit quicker to the fight. Look at who's still alive. Yeah, I'm worried. You're still concerned. You're never writing Vitality off. Sphinx should or maybe could get caught here, but your kin does bluff the opportunity. Aye. Just having an up and leave now. His team have got the bomb, so this fight is not the be all and end all of Liquid in this round. And with Madge's being felled. Sphinx knows with 50 seconds left, the bomb so far removed, so far away, there's really no winning it here. Team Liquid with this force buy into the round with Naf on a hero gun. They've kept the dream alive. A little glimmer faintly burning amidst the darkness that Vitality bring. This is uh, a save for Sphinx but they'll gladly run it back in the next round. And even though it's not mattered again, the, the, the talking point of Zai Wu, maybe we'll see him dig deep in that second map. This has been, you know, this has been a bad event. Uh, this has been a bad circuit for Zai Wu in terms of Katowice has gone by four years in a row. His rating lower than his typical average. Not here though, coming through the groups with the exception of that heroic game, he has been the hero the Vitality needed. And there's more to show, of course. This is still a best of three. Nuke is the second map. It's Vitality's pick. We'll see if he's any more required. For now, Liquid are just holding on for dear life. Yeah, respect. All right, let's get it on. 14 to five, Vitality trying to slam the hammer down. Liquid get that mid molly in, but they have no warp in sight. Ugh, assembling this boost as the spam's coming in. It's a scary prospect. So they quickly disassemble it. Elige playing with fire down in the connector. This is what Vitality are looking for in this round. In this moment, he's in hot water. Dupree with a swing his way over in middle, and it's a one for one out of a liege. Vitality will take that every damn day. They know concessions have to be made now in the four on four. They're in no rush, but this is where Liquid are trying to be smart about it, right? Using these resources down towards B to take away this monster control. Get the info ahead of time as to whether or not Vitality are looking to come down this end of the map. Should start to see Naf making his way up towards this upper bomb site in just a moment. Good reaction. They know they have to force a fight and take some space. He kinder saw on a jump spot. Players coming up long. Whether or not he saw the bomb is unsure. OC mollied even further back into this attack from the long side. Apex is just wasting his time right now. Nitro setting up on a big flank. 
means at least Vitality can't turn around, but they move forward, onwards, however, not upwards. Apex knocked out by the hammer. It's Zai Wu who gets dinked as well. And if they try and retreat, if they try and return back down to that lower site, Nitro will not allow it. More flashes, OC's dead, Sphinx moves forward and there's only 15 seconds. Yeah, we're really playing within the margins here. Vitality, one misstep, one kill in the wrong place, and this could get away from them. Naf's the man who open, and there's Nitro getting involved, getting activated on that wrap round. Shut out, they try to leave it to the buzzer. But a couple of kills in the right place do Liquid well. If we can get your Kindar switched online, right? This guy's yeah. been pretty much missing, pretty much absent for all the rounds of play so far. Normally such an important piece of the Liquid puzzle. Vitality just having to let their foot off the gas. Coming in with a lowly investment. Apex even having a drink. <laughs> if there was ever a time, it's in a round like this. No stress, man. Throwback to existence. It was even part of that squad, Harry, the last time Apex was in the spot deck, as we talked about. And a complete script flipped. Since we talked about that game, up against the poles. Dupree on a boost. Don't give him anything. OC forces a fight, but won't overcommit. And Yakinda might need a flash here. They're coming in dry, one by one. Bomb does tumble. A liege also call it causing issues with two kills. And Sphinx will fall as well. It's reassuring rounds for Liquid, but still we await the rifles of Vitality to rear their heads again. Is it just delaying the inevitable? Or is there something in the water? We'll have to wait and see. Ain't something in that water. <laughs> yeah, for Liquid, this was a monumental undertaking, right? The idea of pulling back this scoreline after the first half, to go in, in two down. It was never going to be easy, but they had to come to terms with that already in the halftime break. Now it's executing upon it for Vitality. Oh, my. One kill in the right place. Just something to break through the defense here. That's all they need. Out they go. Sphinx looking for this opener. Not normally oh. the guy to do it, but there's the double. Head on a swivel as Dupree moves in alongside him. B has been broken down. Rotate through the connector being considered. Magisk has got this. And now it's just OC. In a world of hurt, 1v4. It's all come crumbling down around Liquid. And it was Sphinx, the man to do it. They wanted him to be more of a star while he shines bright in that round there. Yeah, and OC can't do a thing about it as well. We had so many questions, so many concerns for this player. Certainly not stage experience amassed in comparison to anyone else. Every time we've seen him on a stage, Liquid have crumbled. Back at Cologne against the Spaniards against Heroic on ho a home turf in Copenhagen. And OC doesn't even get to say anything in this round. He's just fighting for survival. Vitality will go spread out and look for this kill. They don't have to hurry. They haven't got their own money, but they know the value of taking this AWP away. Regardless of that fact, 15 to seven. Just what a crazy time for Sphinx to offer that up as well, right? Yeah. He was someone that was getting a lot of attention. When he moved over from Ents, we were used to these huge star performances. Didn't really feel like that when he first moved in, right? But they've taken some time to... ...set him up as the point man in here. You know, a little stat that Matthew dropped on the desk was that he didn't have a T-side opener in Katowice yet. Well, he gets his first. He gets two, in fact, to secure this round. The all-important 15th for Vitality. Yeah, beautiful. Couldn't have pre-aimed better. Looked two places, found two heads. And this is it. Do or die for Liquid on their map pick in the series. Backs against the wall and Vitality edging themselves forward. Fast towards the lower site. OC starts long. He will once again be avoided. It will be taken out of his hands. Sphinx or flash forward, but still Nitro catches him, trying to escape back through that smoke. Back to the drawing board for Vitality. I hope they brought short. 
Yeah, they wanted to just run that back again. Let Spinks off his leash and just go wild down towards this B side of the map, but Nitro has repelled it. The shield mightier than the sword in this instance. But still a ways to go. Vitality starting a group down towards this lower side of the map. Zaiwu just lobbed a bit of util over towards Long, trying to keep Liquid guessing. Just under a minute left of play in what could be Liquid's last round in this map. Magisk is moving in. Nitro has a great position, but a well-primed flash could end his round here. And Majisk is going ahead of any utility. There's even spammed out monster. Nitro's got two. They don't throw nades. Maybe they didn't need to, because Majisk has burst through ahead of the Molotov. He needs this tap to heaven. He's found oh! it. Majisk on for a third. Is he ready for Yakindar? Not today. And now it's all Zaiwu. Not been needed in this series and won't start now. Liquid hold on. They repel the tide of T's out B and put another round on the board. Great hold for Nitro as well. Talk about this guy, right? We already talked about the role swaps, coming back to in-game, leading off, departing this team. A player that joined the Liquid organization a couple of months before a liege. And Nitro, I mean, last year in Copenhagen to end the year, back at the full finals, he had his highest rated performance in three years since that return. He's back in form at the right time, but there's still more to do, and that's more like it. Right. Osi getting involved early, no longer left at the wayside at long, forces a kill. Alige looks for another, and Vitality loosey-goosey right now. They're getting poached. Yeah, they're trying something, you know, a little less structured. Try to contend for some of this map control over towards long and connector, and Liquid meet them every step of the way. In an interview recently, Alige said Osi's biggest confidence, uh, biggest problem is confidence, rather, right? He knows what to do, but he second guesses himself. He plays with a bit of doubt. That was a very assertive play to open up this round. Yeah, can't have doubt at this level, with stakes this high, with opponents this good. <laughs> he shows that. us why. Okay, Yakindar a little tagged up. Worse for wear, but it's OC up close that they've got to be ready for. Over at long, Elyse has won both of his fights. They do deal with that AWP, but now it's left to Apex with 40 seconds left. He's going to root back, going to take the long angle on this one. Elyse to beat. Had a great round here, but Apex oh. will get the better of him. Oh. oh, another Apex! He was waiting to come back to the stage in the spot deck, and this might be why. Three kills, 20 seconds. The AWP misses the shot. Naf, he's getting closer. Moving in through oh. the smoke, but Naf will connect. Stops that clutch in its tracks. That's still a timing shot. That could have gone very, very wrong, Harry. Beautiful shooting for Apex. Putting his team on his back in that round, but still we can't ignore it, and neither do Vitality. A timeout again, called by Zonic. The second one in this map. The first was after Liquid found two rounds right at the end of that half, and now Zonic again realizes this might be slipping a little further than Vitality ever should have let it. Edging on double digits, Liquid digging deep. A team at Org, synonymous with losing with leads, are now trying to throw that right back the way of Vitality. And they're on the favored side. Individuals have stepped up. Naf's looking a lot better. Elige is forcing many multi-kills. So Vitality can't take this for granted. Yeah, you thought they'd done all the legwork, all they had to after such a good first half. It wasn't even crossing your mind that Liquid had it in them to make this competitive. But the cracks of Vitality's T-side overpass starting to show. Liquid starting to build some momentum. And it can be hard to put a stop to this OC once again, wanting to be involved in an early fight. That shot sails past them, but Elyse will deliver. The connector crunch won't find this trade, won't find an opportunity to bring this back into the 4v4. OC's just going through the motions right now yeah. on this AWP, and he strikes, even oh. going back in for more. Two in the round for OC's AWP, and 
finally the aggression stem thanks to that scout tag but should be the end of the line here should be 10 rounds looming you definitely are seeing the confidence come back in for liquid though right the amount of fights they're forcing going in for reswings dangerous plays but with aim as good as a liege it's working it happened just near the end of that t side spink shouldn't be able to get out of this one with anything to say or do. Nitro's got that net closed tight and he will find double digits for Liquid. Three rounds now in a row on the CT side up against removal of their map pick. But Vitality haven't closed yet, Harry. To think this game started with a 12 round streak. Yeah, dude, like what's even wilder is like, like we said coming into this second half, there wasn't a discernible hero player. There wasn't a guy that you could depend upon. Everyone's been taking a few turns here in Liquid, but for the most part, that attention should be fixated on a liege. Almost eight years in this team. The longest consistent roster of any player in an organization right now. Something to be said for that. Yeah, as mentioned. When he first joined Liquid, Apex was still in Titan. Times have changed a lot since then, but Elyse has always been someone to keep an eye on, and that experience has been shining through. He was kind of one of these first folks to start getting a bit more involved, a bit more proactive, and it feels like that's kind of inspired down the line. It's a different game to the one Vitality were playing earlier. This round pretty measured out of the Liquid defense, right? They haven't tried to push or prod. They haven't tried to get too involved. Vitality still have to take their time clearing all this real estate across the map. Yeah, this is a fake out. If Apex can get a deep long smoke in, he can deny a lot of information for Liquid, and then they can pop down to that B-bomb site. Right now, still three strong for Liquid. They're in the right positions. They've got the right read, and that's because they've got the info, but that will change. Flashed out is Dupree. Yakinda spotting it long. Hasn't actually seen a player. So that's to Liquid's benefit. This fake hasn't shuffled anything. It hasn't moved a single piece of the puzzle. Liquid are tucked in tight. And with the AWP on B as well, this could be Liquid continuing to roll forward. Nitro's in the smoke. Very dangerous, 1v1 to force in 20 seconds. It's about to hit. Oh, see, there's one. More where that came from. The flashes blind him. He's lost his captain oh. over a monster. Guardian oh. in the B site. Oh. oh, see, every step of the way matches vitality, but is it going to be enough? Three in the round from OC. Liquid have got to finish what he started, and it's Sai Wu, the man to beat. Dogs oh. out, but Yakinda chases him down, and Liquid. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that B play. They put a stop to it. And this series, this map keeps getting ever closer. No nerves for OC there. Such decisive shots. Goes back to Monster after the first two kills as well. Right when Nitro falls inside of that smoke play against Spinks, and OC hits every kill he had to. He even used all the ammo for the orb. Zywu grabbed it for the clutch and had to get a reload off. He had no chance. He had no hope. The five bullets bite back, and so did Liquid. Four away, is this really materializing? They still know that one misstep can end this game and send you to Vitality's map pick, but Liquid is still believing, are you? Osi's looked like a different player in these last few rounds. He's been so proactive oh. with oh, this AWP, yeah. and every shot is predestined to hit. Dupree and Spinks both out of the round early. Vitality don't have numbers to contend with in this one. They need that hero figure. Zai Wu is often the player, often the guy. Oh. But he's missed this timing in mid. Might have missed this opportunity. Elige waits for him. One man out through long. This is Apex with the bomb. This is a real swing fight, and Elyse finds the gap, cuts Zai Wu out of the round. They haven't seen Apex Shaw, so this bomb is not in danger yet. But in a 2v4 now, with Magis getting involved, still a ways to go before Vitality have much to hold on to. Magis spotted and dealt with down at lower, and so it's left to Apex again. Now he got three in the 1v5 attempt. He needs to do oh. one better, and it's not happening! OC on the line. 
And what a look for Liquid. Right when we thought they were beginning to beat their demons right back at Rio, they lost just out to go to that champion stage to play in front of the crowd in a 2-2 game against Spirit. Here in Katowice, they beat that exact team down in that group stage, down in that lower bracket. They survived what had taken them down prior and even went on with the confidence of that win in their pocket, Yakinda said in an interview, to take down FaZe, previous winners of Katowice. And now they've got more to achieve, more to do, and more confidence flowing like the true liquid, Elige, one only. That's a gun out in no man's land. Yakinda's gonna try and close the gap. Stop them from retrieving a rifle. And maybe drop the bomb as well. Two kill, one kill for Yakinda, two so far for Liquid, they're up. And he goes back down, OC hits another. And this round again, feels like it will fall by the wayside for Vitality, although Apex lets Naf cross. Oh, okay. Cheeky boy. Hello. Telling Sphinx, hold on, I've got your shot, and I've got a gun for you as well, but still up against the odds in a 2v3. They put more onus on Spinks being the star, on being that X Factor alongside the likes of Zai Wu usually. Well, in this two on three, if there ever was a time to show it, it's now. They set their sights on the A play. Liquid taking a bit of a gamble, have moved another player down lower. OC's left and entrusted with this A hold single handedly. He hasn't missed a beat to get Liquid to this point in the game. And it's holding true now. A second found from NA's AWP. Nade onto the plant as Spinks getting softened up. Doesn't feel safe moving anywhere, but he's gonna try and divide these angles, cut them in two. One man out of the truck, but Spinks is paying him no mind. The flank's gonna take too long. Spinks has all the room in the world. Crossing back, still not considering truck just yet. Starts to look that way, but there's Nitro. The Rat Brown looked like it would miss the timing. But Spinks moves right into it, plays right into Liquid's hands. And as, as great as it is for Liquid, as much as we have to credit their resilience to not just fight back after that 12-0 lead, but up against 15, finding now five rounds in a row, six even. You have to question Vitality's T-sides. They were the problem. They always have been, and they continue to be after what was an optimistic tournament, even an optimistic beginning to this series. Vitality, again, are struggling to close. The stress getting to Apex. Memories of series gone by. What ifs? And Vitality now have but two chances to close this out in regulation. It would be such a wasted opportunity. This is where we look at, you know, OC, NA's rookie AWPA. We all see the potential, but it's been consistency. It's the confidence that's been a problem for this guy in that first arena playoff match. They had that L to Mobby Star Riders, some pies that was feeling it. And we had a loss to Heroic back in Copenhagen up against Casper. Kadian, always a menace, always annoying with that AWP, but it's in perhaps the strongest AWP matchup yet versus the likes of Zai Wu, that he's the guy stealing the spotlight. We've talked more about OC than we have Zai Wu for a long time uh, in this second half. Well, it didn't matter, did it? It certainly didn't matter after the first half. He's barely had T-side orbs to defend Zai Wu, but this is a round where the world's best needs to show it yet again or be left to the quarterfinals and no further. 16 and 18, not the numbers we expect from this guy. A round he must deliver. And OC's been cooking up a storm, double long setup, set up for a liege to succeed. Vitality, everyone together, the conga line of death. Jump spots for Yakinda. These are shots I will hit if he scopes over the top. He's not in a hurry to do so, they still don't want to show their hand. If a liege goes aggressive, he will be caught by Apex. Execute coming in, 35 on the clock, and OC's here in the middle of the fray. This fight along is one out by a liege. Apex relegated to the sidelines. Oh, oh, oh. Lovely flick. Wow. And there's more where that came from. OC rising to the occasion. Zai Wu's cut down before he can meet him, and Magisk is running away. Liquid have turned this game around.
They needed eight in a row to make this comeback happen and they stand on the precipice of doing exactly that as seven consecutive rounds. They need one more to force OT. Where did Vitality go? Some will wake them up. Wrong side of the bed. And one more chance, and if we enter overtime, Liquid certainly have that momentum in the pocket, plus the CT side advantage that has been so apparent. Vitality, they want to speed it up. They want to go oh, driving in. Oh. Yakinda the hammer breaks skulls again, even spamming with the sidearm. He's here to end it. He's here to send us the bonus play, and I have no hope that Vitality can change that story now. 1v5 for Sphinx. Liquid are here to play. Unbelievable! From 13-2 at the half, we're into overtime! Apex is frustrated. Leads like this, they don't come by often, and the fact that it's just gotten away from you, the fact that you're here now, you can feel the nature of the game has changed. And they don't have anything to rely on. They don't have any T-side pocket pick strats that they can pull out and know that have already worked in this game. Liquid have shut out every single attempt, and now they're even throwing new setups on the CT side. Heavy con. An orb to cover above. Even OC backs up, they leave a leech here. They've set him up for success. We've got a boost up that if a misstep will be heard. Spinks will not allow it, silently approaches. As Vitality encroaches this B site, but it's so passive for Liquid. Okay, a miss smoke is a bit of info. They're double pits. Vitality now know that, but it's not what they wanted. They wanted an opening kill. It will not be delivered. It will not be guaranteed, and the Molly is even going to shred this. They have to reposition. More spam, and bye-bye Zai Wu. First time in the spoil deck, and it's a rough awakening. Oh, that's a brutal flashbang, Magisk. Trying oh. to get involved, they nearly line up for him, but nearly is not what you want to operate on okay. here. Spinks delivers. There's the reply, there's the chance. Oh, oh see, there's a smoke in the way. But he still plucks Spinks out of the round. It's left to Apex again. Another clutch, another clutch attempt for the man at the helm of Vitality. So many nice tries, so many close rounds. So many couple of kills that couldn't close. And so many chances to end this first map. Apex now must begin overtime with a round winner. He hears them. It's not for him. Out on the wide swing, the Molly's gonna oh. force him forward and Elise donning that AWP bestowed with OC's power. They lock Apex out of the clutch, and it's in those moments. Apex is putting a lot on himself there. He trusts himself as a player. He trusts himself in those clutches, and that's gone against him now as well. Liquid, the first in overtime, locked in. Not just a changing of the guard and bringing in a new Blood Orpa and a Latvian superstar, but a changing of the narrative, perhaps, for Liquid. A team that we knew to lose leads, to choke wins, are now throwing that back in Vitality's face. And the GOAT coach of Zonic has used every single tactical timeout. For so many years, it was Zonic, Dupreme, Majisk as the final bosses that Liquid could never get past. They couldn't overcome. Well, that's looking to change here and now on map one. Liquid off to the races. First in OT, this is now nine in a row. And again, they go back to the concept because it wasn't seen. Vitality had no idea this was in play. OC can leave as well. He doesn't have to hang around forever once he realizes they're not taking it quick, but that smoke will keep him interested. Now knowing Majisk is moving forward, OC's back is the only problem. But Yakinda's here as well to keep it tight. The Liege gonna get mollied. Yakinda trying to save his teammates. The Liege Ooh. did not get mollied. It has not spread. It did not tick. And Yakinda takes two. OC turns around, but the Liege knows he's unsuspected. And a 5v2 again. Liquid do it, surely. 
Sphinx has been great at getting these B entries. That's going to keep up now. But it's one kill. One measly kill in an undoable round. He spammed out Nitro. He's done that all game, hasn't he? So many spam kills through that monster smoke. And Zai Wu, with the smoke, this fire, he's got to be hot like a light, takes that first, but the smoke drops and Yakinda's dying breath and the can just hold on. That one's nice and easy. Zai Wu coming through with no chance on that play. Liquid Art believing. Elige at 30 kills deep. The most tenured Liquid player, a man who for all intents and purposes practically is the lifeblood of this team. Stepping up when it really matters. When the going got tough, Elige was there every step of the way. Yeah, and what a resurgence he's had. He's in his inconsistencies in these big stage games in the last couple of years. Not anymore, not right now, not when they need him. Again, the spam, the nades, they deck Dupree, ironically enough. But he's going to go quick. He's going to go right now into this site with one flash. Not even. They contact through. Magis now waits. There it pops. In he goes. But he's blind from the monster side. Dupree with that opening kill. Pushes Liquid back into a cage. And they can't escape. Bars are up. Doors are locked. Magis makes it happen as Vitality hold on to perhaps one round at the end of their T side half. OC with the swing, first shot connects, but so many more where that came from. He's dinked, now wounded, now injured. Commanded a lot of respect here. They still don't even plant the bomb. That smoke in heaven, oh. they close the gap. Apex moves in okay. to put a stop to him. And so Vitality salvage one T side round in OT. Hilariously, it might be enough, right? Remember in regulation, these were 13 two halves on the defensive side. Vitality, the, the awkward part is they now need to go back to what was so long ago, that first CT half, those solid holes, those monster pushes for Majisk. And Zaiwu now needed more than ever Liquid playing with their food, smoke that mid molly. They are not running out or gunning up mid dope. Even with that door off, they are not fearful of what short water might have in store for them. The spam that's favored Nitro, not this time around. And even a nade could kill the captain. It's going to go a bit deep though. Hits your kinder instead. It's not a bad start for Vitality in this round, but the spam instead goes for Naf. A pick through the monster side. <sighs> Oh, Apex. Hello. Oh, he's been spotted, but it's an awkward angle for Yakinda. OC with a rare miss. Sails on past. And you know Nitro's trying to call them off right now. They don't need to go. This is a five on four with all the time in the world. They haven't even explored middle. That's what Elige is up to. Moving in. Is he ready for this? Elige oh. deals with Sphinx. One of the big heavy hitters. Out of the picture now, the two top performers for Vitality, both felled by this liquid T side. Sai Wu, a quiet game. This shot needs to hit. Flash goes in, Sai Wu's off the angle, oh, tries to go yeah. back in for it, and now he's hurt. They force respect out of this CT Orb. It's not even ending up on A, this is just a ruse. Vitality taking a bit of a gamble, moving everyone down, but Dupree's got to hold the line, and it feels impossible. Nafs moves in past him. Zai Wu at low HP in this one all alone. Too far removed, too injured to get involved, and dead to Elige. Liquid a one round away from winning their map pick in this series. Did anyone think it was possible with that CT side from Vitality and Regulation? I cannot believe it. And it feels inevitable on Liquid's map pick as well. And now we finally see the reason why. A T side success. And one more. Their first chance to end this game. Vitality couldn't do it with eight map points. How will Liquid fare? Fast towards lower. They will get met by Magis. This was his fight in the first half, but it goes amiss. And again, they can cool off. 5v4. Take a breath, boys. Sphinx is every step. Yeah, this is huge info for Sphinx. Going to be tricky for him to make a hero play here, but the info is nice. He might try and thread the needle, try and find this gap. 
But Naf is waiting for exactly that. If Spinks goes up this ladder, that's the 5v3 guaranteed. Oh Naf wants to fight oh. for it, and Spinks will win that one out. A 4v4, they they've equalized it, and they know that the A play is coming in. Liquid. Just under a minute left, but with none of this con control and Spinks even getting activated in the back line, their only choice is to battle forward. Kinder's even taking that AWP straight into the belly of the beast. And Zaiwu up ahead of the smoke, one of his own. Spinks sets up on a fast flank and he's got to run all the way. Knife out, Liquid are closing the gap. The Akinda caught looking the wrong way and Vitality might just hold down the fort. Zaiwu drops the bomb. Elige needs that crucial trade and it won't connect as Zaiwu puts on a show. It was about time and Vitality hold on. One round from double overtime and I think we deserve it. Finally, Zai Wu offers something up and at a very important juncture as well. They're reacting to Sphinx's info here. Right, his push all the way through Connector. If you wanted to really pick out where the round started to come together for Vitality, it was that. It was Sphinx having that knowledge to get aggressive, to read the rotate, to make life real easy for Vitality. And then Zai Wu nailed the execution. Oh, the spam battle, it's been consistent all game. Apex comes up worse for wear. Majisk not in fear. And he looks for a gap in the smoke. Back turn for the to the danger, but even spam shots connecting will be info for Majisk. He's listening out for them. Kinder doesn't know how close this opponent is, and the jumps of Apex only bait him in. Spinks with a second orb, even picks OC, and they run right into the Dane round the corner. Two kills already to the good for Vitality. They want to keep fighting. Naf with an important response. Getting Majisk out of water like this at least gives you a bit of a staging platform here. Cuts off the flow of info as well, but there's still a man down. There's no escaping that for Liquid. Oh, this is a perfect setup as well. Even if Apex just dies, full flash as they come through. Dupree is anti, he is ready, and he needs a multi-kill to end this before it even begins for Liquid. They've got to go. 35 seconds and nothing to lose. Buzzer beat around here. Apex, first contact. Bomb gets away oh! from them, but Elige stepping up with a double has cracked open B. Double orb. Moving in on the retake, yeah, the double AWP is so far from ideal. Sphinx is donning one alongside Zai Wu. That means he's rotating in with a pistol. Naf should have this one in the bag. Naf should have this fight locked in, and he will walk it over the line. Jet Zai Wu out from the heavens. A 1v1, it's Naf Fly, the backbone of Team Liquid. Trying to take it over the line, trying to win this in oh! OT. And Naf with that swing. Liquid complete the comeback. 12 rounds in a row, a 13-2 half, and still Vitality cannot close. That will be a map that replays in their nightmares, and Liquid show resilience and grit that we've never seen before from this squad. Unbelievable scenes. This must feel incredible to have had the resilience, the tenacity to pull it back, even the overtime getting close.